Hey YouTubers, this is Old John. I'm going to uh, try out some solar equipment to um, supplement my current power and who knows, in case necessary, go off the grid in case of power failures, EMPs, you know. But anyway, so um, still waiting on the solar panels. I'm getting a couple of 265 watt Grape Solar Mono Crystalline. They're in the mail so to speak, but I have received the first component and that's the Odyssey MPPT charge controller. So I got it, came uh, USPS, and I want to show you how it's packaged. Don't have any battery or any um, way of really turning it on yet, so I won't show you that by the time you watch this video, I may have it in service. So come back for more. The box is uh, barely bigger than the charge controller box. And it's got a pretty nice box that it's packed in. Open it up. The controller is Ported on each side by a foam rubber um, support. Nice support there, rubberized kind of. It's not styrofoam, it's foam rubber. This is the hanger that goes on the the top of it to hang it. The manual. <clears throat> and there's the unit. It's an Odyssey MPPT50 series. Nice manual. Manual is showing you that they're saying the MPPT controller will give you 30% more efficiencies than conventional solar chargers. Looking through the manual, um, for you, those of you who haven't researched this or still researching <coughs> charge controllers, um, it's essentially a smart DC to DC converter which has been optimized to harvest maximum energy from the PV array, which is, are the solar panels, in battery-based solar electric systems by using a variety of maximum power point tracking. That's why it's called MPPT strategies. <clears throat> the controller's secondary objective is to ensure that the batteries receive a full charge without overcharge, being overcharged. This is accomplished through a four-stage charging process. It's fully automatic. After installation is complete, there are few operator tasks to perform. Um, MPPT, as I said before, stands for Maximum Power Point Tracking. This des describes a process by which, by means of which the solar module is always operated at the point of maximum possible power. Because the point, the maximum power can vary depending on the operating mode, <coughs> excuse me, and the local conditions, and it changes in the course of the day. The term tracking is used, i.e. the tracking of this point. Under most conditions, MPPT technology will boost the solar charge current so that input and output power are balanced. The greater the difference between the maximum power voltage and battery voltage, the greater the current boost. Current boost can be substantial in systems where the Solar array is of higher nominal voltage than the battery. Traditional controllers connect the solar module directly to the battery when recharging. This requires that the modules operate in a voltage range that is usually below the module's maximum uh, voltage. In a 12 volt system, for example, the, volt, the battery voltage may range from 
0 to 15 volts DC, but the module's maximum power voltage is typically around 16 or 17 volts. Because traditional controllers do not always operate at the maximum power voltage, energy is wasted that could otherwise be used to charge the battery and power system loads. The greater the difference between battery voltage and the maximum power voltage of the module, the more energy is wasted. MPPT technology will always operate at the maximum power point, resulting in less wasted energy compared to tr traditional controllers. However, systems with modules of higher nominal voltage than the battery bank will always have an array voltage greater than battery voltage. Additionally, the savings in wiring due to reduced solar current make MPPT worthwhile even in hot climates. Okay, the um... I've just loosely put on the hanging uh, device here. Just has two little screws that come. And then this hole which you put your own nail or whatever screw to hang it. Um, needs to be hung in a way that there's considerable uh, Ventilation around the the unit. Um, they recommended not be in a cabinet unless the cabinet is vented. It has a minimum of 150 millimeters of clearance right and left, but in the picture they're showing 200. These, of course, are the cooling fins. Look pretty decent. There's a fan. And I think I read that this fan may not operate all the time, just as needed, which will be nice, because who wants to hear a fan running all the time? Um, there again, is this is the MPPT-50. There's also an MPP-30. Um, um, differences, obviously, are in the size, the amperage. This is a 50 amp unit. There is a um, light that shows you, and this looks like it's on, but it's not. That's just a reflection of the camera that shows you the PVs, solar panels are on, and then the battery, the battery status light. Um, these are buttons to go through different um, cycles. Yeah, here's here's the display. Um, this will be the battery voltage and the uh, data indicator, the watts and volts. And then there's the battery icon, the load icon, and solar icon. Other again, I'll show you these in more detail once I get it hooked up. But this purpose of this is really just to show you how it's packed and so forth, and then some general items about it. Um, it has um, connections on the bottom and These are all accessed through this, which comes off. It's, it's just plastic. The rest of the case is, is metal. Um, here you can see the various screws that um, you turn to make the connections. I don't know if you can see here or not, but the ones on the left, there's a nice symbol for the uh, solar panels and a positive and negative connection. Then there's a battery negative and a load negative next to it to the right. Then the battery positive, that's a nice battery icon. And then the load plus um, connection. This has a rem uh, an RM connection also 
which could be used to connect this to your laptop or to your computer to see the status. Now, right now they're saying this is not active. So um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it activated once they get to that point. Anyone who has the knowledge who could tell me how to uh, activate this, I'd be much appreciative. I've put a, an email inquiry into Odyssey for this if they would help me out in the future when they uh, develop the chip or whatever in the programming because that would be nice to have and even better would be a Wi-Fi capability through my household router so I could monitor the uh, status of this unit at all times because in my case I'm going to put it in my basement my lower level my walkout level and uh, you know I won't be right here with it all the time so that'd really be a nice feature so anybody who has any knowledge of that or can direct me to someone who does I'd really appreciate it and leave your comments below so anyway uh, I'm not going to do much more at this point uh, until I hook it up and use it I've got a uh, an inverter coming um, hope to receive that maybe today I'll do a an update on that it's a 2000 watt inverter and so um, here are the stats on the unit it's the 50 it's has a voltage possibility of 12 or 24 um, maximum solar array of 12 volts 700 watts they're gonna I'm getting 260 265 watts so I'll be in the 530 range uh, so I could still add maybe another one 24 volts 1400 watts peak efficiency efficiency is considered 97 percent charge current is 50 amps and uh, load current 30 amps uh, and the PV open circuit voltage is 150 volts DC so okay youtubers that's all for now uh, did quite a bit of research on this and it seems to be a good unit I ordered it through Home Depot and so um, I'll maybe leave some notes on some more details as I learn them so come back for more because I'm going to be adding like I say inverter of course wiring between I'll probably get a couple of batteries and got a couple of solar panels coming so see how it works so old John over and out <laughs>